In 2016, Lightning Rod opened to the public. Kind of. It was notoriously unreliable, and I had my fair share of its unreliability. On August 28, 2020, I walked through the turnstiles of Dollywood for the first time. I had fantasized about the park for about a year and finally got my opportunity to go. First stop was Lightning Rod. I walk up to it and find that it was a 70 minute wait. I don't want to wait that long, especially when there are other rides in the park that I haven't ridden yet. It's my first time at the park, so I decided to come back to it later only to find it wasn't open for the rest of the day. I knew going in that the ride was unreliable, but I thought they had sorted it out by now, only to find I was wrong. And I have to say that after I did get on it, I understand why there was a 70 minute wait. Because one, the ride is unreliable still to this day, and two, the ride is amazing. <laughs> Despite its unreliability, the ride is phenomenal. I was able to get on it the next day because we decided to go to the park for two days, and wow, it was totally worth going back just for that ride alone. Before I get too far ahead of myself though, I want to talk about the theming of the ride. I have to say, I was really impressed with the theming. So you walk up, and there's a beautiful looking building with cars around it, and then you walk inside the queue, and there are cars, and it's themed to a garage. I will admit that there could have been more theming, but with the view of lightning rod right beside us, I don't care. I was happy. So by the time I got to the station, I see those beautiful RMC trains that are themed to the car roll into the station, and I have to say, I was so excited at that point. I finally got my chance to ride the ride that I was looking at all the day before and just hoping and longing for. So with the restraints locked and in place, we rolled out of the station into a right-hand turn and then into the famous launch, or infamous, depending on how you look at it. The launch wasn't too forceful, but it can definitely catch you off guard, especially if you aren't ready for it. I did notice as we reached the top though, the train seemed to slow down quite a bit, and I understand why they did this to keep the ride more reliable, but it did take away from the experience a bit, but the rest of the ride made up for it. And in my opinion, I would rather have a reliable coaster than an unreliable one that gives a slightly better experience. So then after the first drop comes the wave turn, and I had only been on one RMC before this, and that was Outlaw Run, and that one also features a wave turn, but I have to say that I liked the wave turn on Lightning Rod more. It was bigger, more intense, I really noticed those forces a lot more. So then after the wave turn comes two, what I would describe as Outer Bank turns, um, I really liked the second one. It might have been my favorite moment on the ride, just because I was not expecting it. I felt my body tilt sideways, but then I felt the upwards airtime and it was such a weird experience but I really enjoyed it. One airtime hill later and I'm going down the quadruple down which is such a fun element. Um, I, each of those little hops of airtime is different than the last and it's so cool just to see how unique each one is and then it is such an intense part of the ride. I rode in the back row and I just remember my legs were hurting because the airtime was so good. After yet another airtime hill you enter the final turnaround into the break run, and I have to say, I really like this final turnaround. It's visually impressive, it's super cool to watch from the paths, because it's one of the only parts that's visible from the paths. The rest of the coaster is mainly tucked behind the mountain, so you don't actually see it, but that turnaround you do, and it's fun to ride, fun to watch, and it's a great ending to the ride. Okay, so here we are, day two at Dollywood, and we just got off Lightning Rod. Wow, first time I've been on it, that was phenomenal. We rode in the middle, which wasn't the best, but it was still amazing. I cannot complain, that was phenomenal. I wanna get back in line, but I think the line is too long. I was able to get back in line later that day because there was close to no line. I was able to walk on the ride, which was really awesome. And then I got a backseat ride and several uh, in the middle. I don't think I ever got a front row ride, but it was awesome just to see the station with that short of a line, especially considering the day before. Now in terms of the ride's smoothness, it's not the most smooth ever, but it's nothing that detracts from the ride. I didn't even notice it personally when I was on the ride, it was just out of control, fun experience. It wasn't anything that made me go, ow, this hurt to ride, like this hurt my head. It wasn't anything like that, it was just a fun ride. I didn't notice any real rough patches or anything like that. So the big question, is Lightning Rod worth a trip to Dollywood? And the answer is absolutely yes. 
the other coasters there are really good. Go for the theming, go for the food, um, but definitely go for Lightning Rod. It is totally worth it. Like we went that second day and b the day before we knocked out all the coasters except the Katie coaster and I was totally satisfied, but then going back just for Lightning Rod alone would have been totally worth it for me. Um, so I was very glad that we went. It's a high quality ride, one of RMC's best. It is such an amazing coaster. It is a thrill machine, so that might be something to keep in mind. If you're new to roller coasters or still a bit scared, you might want to do some of the other coasters in the park before you come to this one just because of how intense the ride is, but it's a fun intense. I didn't think it was too intense. There weren't there aren't that many positive Gs. It's a lot of just negative airtime focused. It's, an, it's a very airtime focused ride, and it's something incredible. So definitely get out to ride it. And so that is my review of Lightning Rod. I loved the ride. Um, if you disagree with me, though, let me know. I would love to hear what you have to say. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. God bless.